I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to create round text in Illustrator the fastest way. I did make a video about a year ago, and in that tutorial, I didn't show how to actually flip the bottom text, and a lot of people were asking me, how do you do that? So in this one, I'm gonna show you how to do it properly. So I've got this badge that I created here. It's an old badge I created you know, a while back, but it's got this text up here, and then these two texts at the bottom. Now, to create this, all you have to do is create an ellipse or a circle. You can press L, then just hold Shift and Alt on your keyboard to drag it out. And now I can just press Shift X to make a stroke. Now all you gotta do is go to the Type tool on the left hand side, right click and click Type on a path. And then all you gotta do is left click once on that path and it'll automatically um, generate lorem ipsum on the path. And I'm gonna just scale this down like this. So you can see we have this text, it just goes all the way around in one direction. And then what the way we move this is some people will do this, right? But the better way is that you gotta understand there's three blue lines. So if I zoom in, you can see I've got this left line, this middle one, and then, uh, sorry, we've got this and this one here, and the end line. So this one is the end line. So if I bring it all the way around, it cuts off, it basically creates, it cuts off the text. And you can see we have this middle line, and if I drag it over the line, it will flip it, you can see? And that's how you create the flip text. I'll just quickly, move this line all the way and then the first line is that is the start of the first letter so I can just quickly drag it like this I can just scale the text up maybe add a bit of kerning and cool we've got that text there awesome now what I can do is control C then control F to copy and paste in place this text on top I'm just going to quickly rotate it like this and so now what we do is look for that middle blue line. So we can see we've got this line here, we've got this one, and then also if I zoom in, you've got this blue line here. So there's basically three points. You've got the middle line, which allows you to flip the text. You've got the first, which is the start of the first letter, and then the last line, basically you can move that in and it will close off the text, um, close off the text box. Just keep that in mind. Sometimes you might not see it, so check your settings that things are, the handles and everything's big but make sure you zoom in to see it. So I'm gonna left click, I'm gonna find the middle line which is here, and then all I'm gonna do is left click once, and as I'm dragging, just bring it over the line. And you can see it's gonna flip it, and then what I can do is just grab that line and move it across. You can grab the first line or the middle one. It's probably better if you grab the first one so you can move it. And just be very careful because if you bring it over, it'll flip it again. So you gotta be very careful with your movements. And so I've got the text, got that text here. Just let me just do a little bit more. Cool. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this text that I have here. Now all I've got to do to make it match the same size and alignment as the other one, I'm just going to scale it up like this, right? And I, I usually try and match the top or the X height of the other one. And then I just get the eyedropper and then tap on the other text and it will make this bottom text the same size because we did scale it up, as you can see. And then now it's literally the same size and it's almost looking like it's in the middle. And so we might just have to tweak it a little bit, scale it down a tiny bit. And so just basically by eyeballing it, you can see it's like pretty good. I'm, I think this circle is not... And then for the little text, I can just duplicate this, bring it up. Type ESTD 2010, I think I had on there. Grab that blue line again and just make sure it's the right one. Make the text a bit smaller, and then just bring it up. Just select it with the normal selection tool, bring it up, and that's it. And then I can group it, and we have our badge. Looks basically the same as that one, and that's how you basically create rounded text. It's great for badges or stamps. Um, if you're creating a circular logo, it's perfect for this and it's just great to create that type of text. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do want to see other tutorials just like this, you can click here and watch a playlist of all my Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Cheers.